millions of couples postponed their proposals and weddings due to the uncertainty of the pandemic. But now after isolating together, these couples are ready to take the next big step. That means it's time to talk about engagement and wedding trends. So I've got Jamila Stewart and Tara Zur with me. Uh, Jamila is a writer who covers emerging trends in fashion and beauty. Tara is a Heltzberg diamond expert. Welcome to you both. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Jamila, how has COVID changed the way people are getting engaged? Well, online shopping is more of a factor now than it's ever been. We're seeing that um, couples are turning to online to do virtual try-ons or even do customizations online. Many jewelry companies at this point have created ways to do so. Um, and it actually allows both parties to be more involved in the engagement um, in the engagement ring shopping. Women have a lot more say in the ring shopping at this point. Um, we're also also seeing that maybe they're sizing down on the proposal ceremony and then celebrating with friends afterward. How has the pandemic impacted the priorities of couples on their wedding day? When it comes to wedding day priorities, uh, couples are definitely still sizing down a little bit. Maybe they're minimizing their parties list or their guest list. They might even be opting to live stream their weddings. Another trend that we're seeing is they're deviating away from that traditional ballroom setting. So instead, they might be doing a destination wedding or doing an outdoor wedding. What are some of the biggest differences you've noticed over the years when it comes to colors? Well, when it comes to wedding dresses right now, there's definitely a huge uptick in color. We're seeing a popularity increase um, along uh, along alternative wedding dress styles and wedding dress colors. Um, but at the same time, we're still seeing those different variations of more traditional tones. So you will still see some whites, but also maybe ivory and tan as well. Um, on the flip side, couples are definitely incorporating more color into the overall wedding. So maybe the parties looks or their decor or their accessories. Tara, you're a diamond expert. Has COVID had any impact on styles and budget? You know, many people are familiar with the four C's of a diamond, cut, color, clarity, and carat weight. But Hellsberg Diamond has recently launched the fifth C, which is choice. So what that means is we have an extensive um, assortment of lab grown and natural diamond engagement rings. So we have an engagement ring to fit every budget and every personality. What are lab grown diamonds? Lab grown diamonds are real diamonds. They are the same optical and chemical properties of a natural diamond. The only difference between the two natural diamonds um, is really their origin. So natural diamonds come from the earth and uh, lab grown diamonds come from a natural diamond seed that is then grown in a laboratory. But really, even experts can't tell the difference. Um, they're beautiful. They give you just more choices and more options. So what advice do you have for people who are about to start shopping for rings? This is such a fun time to be in the market for an engagement ring because there are so many choices out there. So I encourage um, you to go online to hellsburg.com to start pre-shopping, see what you gravitate towards, and then go into one of our local stores and have fun. Try on different shapes, different sizes. Um, any of our uh, stores, we have great experts that can walk you through all five C's of a diamond and find the one that's perfect for you. Ladies, thank you both.